Hello friends, it's Tanya with Sweet Tea Stampin' Spot, and I'm back. It is August 8th. Um, July was really a blur for me. I was gone half of the month, um, and then the other half that I wasn't gone was busy catching up and keeping up with all the things around the house and with classes and things. So I didn't, I only got to do one Facebook Live during July. So I'm hoping to get back on track now and do at least one a week going forward. So I wanted to pop on today. I know I'm a little bit later than I normally am, but it is still summertime here for us. My kids have almost a month left of summer. So we uh, took advantage of that today. They had a haircut appointment. We went and got lunch with my husband. We did a little shopping and we got dessert on the way home. And then I had some things I had to get done before I could get online today. But I wanted to pop on today and share a fun card with you. And I might turn off my Wi-Fi. I think I forgot to do that when I started. Just... All right, I'm hoping that works better. I don't know if it will or not, but we will give it a try. All right, so uh, we are also today, Thursday, August 8th, we also are in the middle of some of the outer bands of what's left of Tropical Storm Debbie in our area. So it's been raining off and on today, a little bit of wind, nothing crazy, but just a very gray day here in uh, Southeast Virginia. And um, But a good day to be in the studio and, and do some crafting. So I decided I would pop on and share a card with you that I did um, during one of my classes in July and um, share some good information about sales that are going on right now with Stampin' Up! So let me make sure my computer that I can see comments on is caught up and I can find myself and I see myself so I'm there so that's a good thing. Oh hi Sherry, thanks for popping on today. Hope you're doing well and uh, hope you're not getting too much rain. Um, I know parts of Central Virginia, I know you're further north, but um, are going to get some some significant significant rain over the next day or two. So um, we're going to kind of avoid most of it, but we do have a little bit of dreary weather. So, all right. Well, like I said, I've got a card I'm going to share with you today, and um, I also wanted to mention some of the current promotions that are going on. So Stampin' Up! for the month of August, and this started this week, um, is doing a designer series paper sale. So there are 14 designer series papers that are on sale. So normally in the U.S. they're $12.50 before shipping and tax. Um, but for the sale, they're 15% off. So they are, before shipping and tax, they're $10.62. Um, so that is the sale price for the papers that are on sale. And there's 14 different ones. The one I'm using on my card today is one of the ones that's on sale. And it's hard for me to tell you where to find them all because you can't find them all in one place. But if you go to the online store and click um, shop products and then click papers and then patterned paper, that's where you're going to find them, and the pricing will show up there at the reduced price of $10.62, the ones that are on sale. It'll have a little sale marker next to it. So there's a good variety of papers on sale. Um, not 100% not of them are, and the specialty papers are not on sale. So this is just regular designer series paper and um, standard 12.50 paper. Some of them are 6x6, six six, some are 12x12, 12 12, but that's all the way till the end of August. So we have until August 31st for that sale. So I will add, when I'm done with the video, add my link for shopping if you do want to place an order um, to take advantage of the designer series paper sale or for, to buy anything that you need to, to get crafting. Um, I'll place a link in the video description here and um, that way you can use that if you would like um, for my host code. So, all right, so that's the big thing. They also released two new kits this week. So there's a Christmas card kit and a project kit that's a haunted home kit. Um, so the Christmas card kit makes eight cards, two designs, four of each, and it's $23. And the haunted home kit is, a, is one kit to make the project. 
and it's $18 um, US. So those are both available started this week as well. Um, so just wanted to let you know about some of the new products there that have been released to customers. Um, we are about a little less than a month away and the holiday mini catalog will go live. So September 4th is when that goes live. Um, I will be getting my copies in of those. I had to order the bulk ones um, this next week. So if you would like a copy, um, drop a comment and I'll do my best to get a copy out to you this month. Um, and I hope you enjoy that. There's, I haven't even gotten my copy in hand yet. I've been um, stalking the mailbox for the last week or so and still haven't gotten it. So I was hoping it was here going to be today, but it's still not here. So um, hopefully soon it'll get to me. I know they're arriving to demonstrators all over the place in, in the U.S. and stuff and all over the world already. I just haven't gotten mine yet. So hopefully soon with that. Um, all right. So... The other thing I'm going to mention before I flip it down, I think that's really it. So um, I don't have any, well, I do have some events coming up if you're local and want to come and stamp in the studio. Next week I have my Happy Hands class, and that's on um, Thursday the 15th. That's at 6 p.m. here in the studio in Chesapeake. And then um, Saturday the 24th I have my Create and Crop. So that's basically bring your own projects and you can do a full day or a half day. The studio is available from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. or 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. or 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. And there are costs associated with that and you can check out the event details here on Facebook or on my website under my calendar. But that's the 24th, which is the Saturday before Labor Day, or before Labor day weekend. And then my last class of August will be on the 27th, which is a Tuesday morning at 9.30 here in the studio, and that's my coffee or tea and cards class. So those are all still available to RSCP for the Happy Hands on the 15th, Create and Crop on the 24th, or the 27th is the coffee and tea or cards class. Um, and then, of course, I'll have more classes coming up in September, so keep an eye out for those, and I hope to get to stamp with you in person, if not, just maybe see you virtually, um, but either way, it's always good to create and share. So let me get my camera turned down, and I will show you what we're making today. So just give me a second while I put the camera down to my other phone holder so you can see my desktop. This is always the tricky part for me to make sure I don't hit a button incorrectly, which I've done before. So... Um, let's see here. How do I flip it down? I always can't, I can't always see the button, but there we go. Let's try that. All right, let's see if I can zoom this out a little bit. All right, so you should see my catalog, and that way I know I'm kind of centered and can see there. Um, I know I've got some extra space over there. Let me see if I can slide my camera down without hitting this button right there. I have a little button that on my phone that I don't want to press it. So, All right, so today's card is featuring one of the suites. Um, I'm using products from the Unbounded Beauty suite. So this suite is on page 52 and 53 of the annual catalog. That's where you can see kind of the samples. And the products are on the next two pages, pages 54 and 55. So I'll be using actually some of this stamp set, the Flowers of Beauty. I'm not using any of the dies on this particular card, but I will be using um, also the one of the greetings from Unbounded Love and one of the dies from this set as well. I will also be using a piece of um, the designer series paper, and this is one of the ones that is on sale for the month of August, this Unbounded um, beauty 12 by 12 paper. So instead of being 1250 for the paper, it is going to be 1062. Um, I'm also using just a little snippet of some of that beautiful glimmer paper uh, on this card. Now and that's pretty much. I didn't use any of the bling or um, dots on this one, but um, I think you'll enjoy it as well. And then I've got a few samples to show you as well. Um, let's see. All right, so that is 
where we're starting. So this is a card that I did at my Happy Hands class in the month of July. It was also my July to-go class option. I will mention while I've got my catalog out that my August to-go class and my Happy Hands class on the 15th are going to feature products from the Country Woods Suite. So that's on page um, 48 through 51 of the main catalog. So I'll be using some from the Country Birdhouse Bundle and the Country Flowers Bundle, and then some of these papers here, both the um, Country Woods and Country Lace Paper, and perhaps the Islet Embossing Folder. I've been using that a little bit as well already, and some of this ribbon. I probably won't be using these pearls, these um, basic gray and smoky slate pearls, because they're currently not orderable. So they are not orderable until sometime in September, and my class is, of course, August 15th. So I found an alternative that I think will work nicely with this suite for um, an embellishment. So, But this is going to be my class to go, is this one for August, is featuring these products. So the classes to go is going to be $40, and that is your cost shipped in the U.S., it's $40 U.S., and um, it includes a half a pack of designer paper, a half a pack of embellishments, and then the, the supplies to make eight cards. I, I do four designs, two of each. So the eight cards are included. Um, you will have to provide your own stamps and ink um, for those to-go kits, um, but it will feature these two um, bundles here. Of course, if you don't have these, there will be ways to use alternative stamps that you might already have in your collection. Um, but if you're interested in that, the registration for that, if you want to drop a comment in that option, I can email you out that information. And the cutoff to sign up for that is next Wednesday the 14th. So about a week left to register for that to-go option for August. All right, let's get to stamping. So the card I'm going to be making, and here is my host code, if you do want to shop that sale of the designer paper, is QNDDBA, and that's a ZW. Um, and that's to shop um, at my website, tanyareed.stampinup.net. And um, you're welcome to use that when you shop in the month of August. And I would, I would love to have you shop with me. Hi, Irene. Thanks for popping on. So the card we're going to make today, um, like I said, is using some stamps from the Flowers of Beauty stamp set. I'm going to be using this one and then these two layers here and also this flower from this, from this stamp set. I'm not using any of these dies that go with this one specifically, but I am using this stamp set. And then also I'm going to be using one of the greetings from the Unbounded Love greeting stamp set that coordinates. I'm going to be using the To You and Yours. And the dies for this one are an amazing set of dies if you hadn't gotten these yet. Um, but I'm using this little rectangle here. And I just want to show you when you cut that out, and this one I cut out of crumb cake because that's what I'm using on the card. When you run this one die through, I just want to show you an example because several of the dies are like this. You run it through and it actually gives you two pieces for this one die. So you're in, you end up with the, the pretty frame and also the piece that's kind of more solid that you can stamp on. And several of the dies, not all of them, but several of these from this die set are like that. This is another example of one that does that. And I'll show you an example of that. So that one here does a similar effect. So it punches out that part, but it also will give you the tiny little frame that's the other part that makes the cutout and that's when you run it through one time it gives you both pieces so several of them are like that in this set and I just want to make sure you understood that not all of them but that is just makes this die set even more versatile and useful for layering especially so let's get to stamping and oh I do want to point out the paper and show you that real quick so I have this is the designer paper which I have used a ton of this 12 by 12 paper um, and so these are the designs, double-sided, and these designs also feature all of the current, or new, I should say, in colors. So that's one side and the other side of that piece, and then you've got this piece, which has the nice summer splash and petunia pop and pretty in pink in it, and the flip side of that one. 
Then you've got this one, which has a lot of floral designs. And it also includes, besides the end colors, um, Berry Burst and Pretty Peacock. And then the flip side of that is um, Shy Shamrock. You've got this one, which has some little flower bouquets almost. And these are great for cutting out, fussy cutting or punching out to use on your project or just using as a background piece. And there's a nice pretty and pink and white kind of tone on tone on the back side of that one. This is one that features um, some of the petunia pop and berry burst. And the back side of this is kind of a, a wash effect with some peach pie and pretty and pink. And then this piece here has the peach pie um, and some other, I think it's a berry burst a little bit with the peach pie. And then this piece on the back, which has some shy shamrock. And that's actually the piece we're gonna use for this project. So this piece of designer paper is um, uh, three and a half by five and a half. So we're going to actually stamp on this. So sometimes you have a designer paper that, um, you know, needs a little more pop to it. So this one I decided to stamp directly on it. And I'm going to use the new Shy Shamrock ink and um, the flower from the Flowers of Beauty stamp set right here to create a, my own custom designer paper. So I'm gonna just stamp, ink up my stamp and stamp the flower, the one that's kind of the outline, right on that um, Shy Shamrock designer paper. And I will eventually be putting something kind of in the center, so I'm not gonna about worry about covering the whole thing, but I want to just get um, around the edges especially, because that's what'll be noticed mostly. So you've got that. So just doing the Shy Shamrock right on top of the designer series paper. I'll be using that ink pad again in a moment. And then that is gonna go down flat on my base. So my base, this time I did 11 inches by four and a quarter, and then I've scored it in the middle at five and a half. And this is a basic white. This is also the thick basic white. Whenever I use a card base of white, I like to use, I prefer to use the thick basic white. I'm just going to use some of my green glue to put that down. Remember with green glue, a little bit goes a long way. But this is a nice big piece of this designer paper, so I want to make sure I get some good coverage on that. And that gives me about, not quite a half an inch on either side of the paper, and then it should go from top to bottom of the card base. That's gonna go down flat. And then I'm gonna move this over to the side because we'll come back to it at, at the end for assembly. The next thing I'm gonna do is take a piece of basic white. This is just regular, it's not, it's not thick. And this one is um, two inches across by four and a half tall. And I'm actually gonna use my snips and I'm gonna create my own tag looking piece. So I am gonna just snip off one corner and it's kind of like the, the glue, a little snip goes a long way. And then I'm gonna take this corner that I snipped off, I just snipped that off of the white right there, and I'm gonna flip it to this side and kind of hold it in place when I snip the opposite side of the tag. That way they kind of look even. Sometimes we have trouble doing this freehand. So that way the triangles that are off both sides are close to even. They may not be perfect, but they're very close. So I've, stand, I've cut that down, just snipped off those corners, and I am gonna use a hole punch, and I have my old school Stampin' Up! hole punch, and this is like a medium sized one. Um, you could also use your take your pick tool and jab a hole in there, and I know there's some dies that cut out holes, but for me, it's just easier to use my, my hole puncher, and that's gonna have some linen thread in it eventually. But now we're gonna stamp the tag. So back to our stamp set, Flowers of Beauty. I'm going to be using this piece here, and I'm going to stamp that also in the Shy Shamrock to give our foundation for our focal point. So this is a very tall, narrow stamp, and I'm going to ink up that with the Shy Shamrock, and that is going to get stamped just right on my tag. Just like that. 
The next thing I'm going to do is, since I've got my Shy Shamrock out, I'm going to go ahead and stamp my greeting. So remember that die I showed you, the little rectangle, the cute little frame. I'm not going to use the frame, just you save that for something else. But I'm going to use the greeting to you and yours, and I'm going to stamp that also in Shy Shamrock. So lots of use of this new color. That's just going to go straight on my little crumb cake label there to you and yours. We can put that away to the side until it's time to put it together. That's all I need Shy Shamrock for, so I'm going to close that up. The next color I'm going to use is another in color, and that is the pale, or not pale, peach pie. Peach pie color. Now in this stamp set, You've also got these two um, floral pieces, and they're meant to be stamped together. You can stamp them separately, but I'm going to do the lighter color, the peach pie, in for this stamp, and then this one with the more detail, I'm going to come back in and use Calypso Coral for. So, let's start with the peach pie. And this stamp is very forgiving as, where, as far as placement goes. My aim is just to kind of go along the stem of the greenery there but it doesn't have a specific place that it needs to be but I just try and get it to go kind of along the stem so the flowers look like they're just kind of coming off of the stem there so that's the peach pie and then I'm going to use like I said the more detailed stamp and do it in Calypso Coral so that they layer together. And these I do try and line up a little bit more. And you can see there's like a little trio of, of flower heads right there and there's also a trio on this um, stamp right here. So that's what I kind of line up. And then I kind of line up going down from there so that those little flower details can be right on top of the peach pie stamped flowers. Okay, so that is the stamping that we're going to do. Now we're just ready to assemble. So I'm going to take some linen thread, as I mentioned earlier, and use that to attach to my card. And um, I am going to use about 10 inches to make a nice bow in my tag. So I'm just going to run it through the hole there, kind of even up my thread before I tie it. And I'm just going to tie a, a nice big bow, nothing, nothing too crazy, just a bow. Of course, doing it on camera is always fun. My fingers don't want to work, but they will. I'll get them to work. All right, just like that. I'll trim those up once I get it on the card and make sure it's kind of where I want it. Now for this, we're going to use some dimensionals on the back of the tag. I need to get my snips out, my dimensionals here. I've finished up all the whole ones, so I gotta go and use up my edges. So I like to cut them in pieces. So I use up all of that sticky stuff. I just cut all the way around once they're empty. That way they're ready to go when I pull the sheet out again for my next project. So we'll stick a few of these on here. I am gonna stick one in the center as well because this is a pretty long tag. So we'll do that. Get those backings taken off. And this is going to go on my card front, and I kind of just did it a little bit at an angle. I didn't want it exactly straight. I'm going to kind of just mess with my little linen thread bow there, and I'll trim that up so it's not so long on that end. And then we've got the tag, and I've also got a little piece of the glimmer paper. Now this um, glimmer paper is in that same suite of products I showed you to begin with, the uh, Unbounded Beauty Suite. 
And this is the piece that's Shy Shamrock. And I just used a little snippet of it. It's about a quarter inch by one and a half inches. So um, the way I did it was I put um, a many dimensional on one end because it's going to kind of hang off the side here. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm going to put a mini dimensional right there. And I'm going to bring my um, sticky mat or my silicone mat in. And on the other end, I'm going to reuse my stamp and seal to add some adhesive. So that side is going to go flat. So this is going to go just kind of about right in here. So the flat part that I put seal on will go here, and the dimensional end will be popped up right there. And then the same thing with this. I'm going to put a mini dimensional in this top corner. So it's going to kind of hang over here out in space and then the rest of it's going to be tucked in, um, tap, tacked down right there so I'll add some adhesive or seal right there and then that just borders right along that little edge so that the glimmer paper kind of pops right up and there you have it a really fun card using designer paper the both stamp sets the glimmer paper um, stamping on your designer paper technique, which is very simple to do, um, and it's fun to do it tone on tone like that. So that is one of the cards we did at our class for the Happy Hands, which was also my July to go class option. And let me show you the other cards we did. So, and again, it was all featuring the Unbounded Beauty suite of products, and each participant got a half a pack of the designer paper and also some of the embellishments. Um, to, to play with and to use on their cards. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sherry. I appreciate it. Um, I love the green. The, sh the Shy Shamrock is really growing on me. It wasn't my favorite at the beginning, but I really do like it. Um, so that's one card. Then we did this card. So this is another example of using some of the dyes. So this piece is cut out of the white and also the Summer Splash. So if you want to look and see what the white this white piece was here um, and then we stamped on this piece and popped it up if you want to see if you can see that but then the summer splash piece we tap, uh, tacked down onto the designer paper there we did some stamping here and there's also some wink of Stella on there and there's some other die cut pieces here and some two two step two tone stamping on that flower there of course featuring the designer paper on that one this is one we did also with a lot of the dyes from the Flowers of Beauty set here and a really fun color combination. So these colors are um, Calypso Coral for the card base, Cajun Craze, and then Peach Pie for the accents there. Um, and this is another example of using the nice dyes from the Unbounded Love set and then the Flowers of Beauty and with some more glimmer paper there. And then a little piece of the Peach Pie ribbon. And then this was a fun little pocket card we did. Um, again, featuring the designer paper, Unbounded Beauty, and the little hello, and this is like a pull tab. And the card base is actually the Shy Shamrock, and you make a pocket out of the Shy Shamrock, and then you decorate here and here with the same piece and this piece underneath to kind of give you a nice, pretty pocket card. So just something a little bit different. So those were the four cards we did at our... Um, yeah, isn't the pocket card fun? Just something different, but not hard at all. Um, so these were the four cards we did, and this is what I've been doing since uh, May, is each month featuring one suite. So um, my August suite, like I mentioned earlier, is going to be the Country Woods suite of products. Um, so if you would like to participate in that class to go, um, that option is still available until August 14th to register. And um, we always have a good time because it's the same cards I do at my Happy Hands class here in person. So if you're not able to make it in person, there's always that to-go option as well. All right, everybody, have a great rest of the day. And hopefully you're staying dry where you're at. Um, the rain has been off and on still, even while I've been talking. And um, we're looking for more rain all night. So we will be fine, but just a, a dreary, rainy, gray day and night. So, but we'll get through it. So hopefully everybody has a good time and stay safe out there. Thank you. Bye-bye.